गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम मूविंग टू वर्ड्स वी लर्न अबाउट डाइवर्सिटी एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इन इंडिया एज वी सी दैट दे आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ डिफरेंस इज इन टर्म ऑफ कल्चर रिलीजन लैंग्वेज एज वी शो एंड लर्न इन द लास्ट चैप्टर दैट वॉज चैप्टर नंबर वन मूविंग टू वर्ड्स टू ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर टू डाइवर्सिटी एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन different and prejudice india is home to eight major religion of world which all is seen in india it is also home to 1600 languages and more than 100 dance form how do people differ they can differ in the way they dress up the food they eat the language they speak as this is what we all have learned or this is what we all show in the last civics chapter but above and beyond attitude and opinion also form the foundation for the upliftment of the lower classes that we'll see in the further slide there are two types which all of us it should be clear one is prejudice and another is stereotype now what is the meaning of prejudice now prejudice involves the kind of bias behavior and negative feeling associated to it fine it may be based on the skin color it may be the clothes they used to wear all right this is what all and prejudice see for example let a person who cannot speak english could be say for example a person who cannot speak english could be considered as a inferior person it would be a kind of negative feeling of a person and despite the fact that person can know or better than the person who can speak english this is what the prejudice exist all right prejudice it also create a disharmony at all the human beings which are not accorded respect that they they deserve this is also a one shot of prejudice hence if although they have a feeling of disrespect or hatred which leads to the division of the society this is the main thing which keeps on divide our society this is a main which having a negative feeling all right this is what a prejudice mean next important that is a stereotype now another moving towards to the another phenomena that we we'll study about a stereotype it means that we fixed one image in our mind say for example gender differences say for example you can say boys do not cry even if boy cry what we'll see either we we'll laugh on it or we'll say boy do not cry generally in difference also we can say girls like pink color fine boys are more rowdy compared to the girls so this is what all people used to say or this are the all sort of things from disabled to children with special needs now from disabled to children with special need this word is no more used of disabled but nowadays we are using that children with special need all right it also prevent us from doing a certain things say for example prior it was say that a common stereotype about the muslims that they are not interested to educate their girls and therefore they were not sending girls to school however studies have now shown that poverty amongst muslim is an important reason why muslim girls do not attend the school or maybe they were drop out from the school after a few years wherever effort has been made to reach education to the poor the the muslim community has shown an interesting in sending their girls to school for example in the state of kerala the distance between the school and the home is not much so there is a good government bus bus service that helps teacher reach school in rural areas and you won't believe that over 60% of the teachers are women These factors have helped children from poorer family, including Muslim girls, who have started attending school in much larger number. 
in other states where such efforts have not made children from poorer families where muslim tribal or so called lower caste find it difficult to attend the school therefore poverty not religion is the cause for non attendance of muslim girls in school next slide inequality and discrimination here we'll see because it arises how inequality arises because it arises due to stereotype and prejudice discrimination is also based on religion economic background tribal or whatever work say for example cleaning washing garbage picking this all were known as a dirty work actually it is all been discriminated on the basis of the work which the people used to do dr b r ambedkar who was a foundation or even you can say the father of the indian constitution and he was the best known leader of the dalit here i'll share you what is the meaning of dalit dalit is a term that people belonging to so called lower caste used to address themselves they prefer this word to untouchable dalit means those who have been broken this word according to dalit shows how social prejudice and discrimination have broken the dalit people the government refers nowadays this government has referred to this group of is known as a sc it means scheduled caste a small incident of our dr b r ambedkar i'll share with you dr b r ambedkar uh, is considered the father the father of the indian constitution and is also the best known leader of the dalits dr ambedkar fought for the rights of the dalit community he was born into mahar caste mahar caste was also at that time was known as an untouchable or even you can say from the dalit community the mahars were poor owned no land and children born to them also had to do the work their parents did they lived in spaces outside the main village and were not allowed into the village once when dr ambedkar was returning he was he was returning from after completing his education so he was waiting for his father to come but his father didn't turn up for a long time then one of the station master came and asked why a poor little children for whom you are waiting for dr b r ambedkar replied we are waiting for my father to come all right said station master and he went after so many our time went or after so many hours um, his father didn't turn up so again the station master arrived and asked why what happened children why your father hasn't didn't turn up they said we don't know and b r ambedkar and his one of his friend went outside and he asked bullock carts to give him them lift so bullock carts people maybe they would inquire from which caste do you belong they said we belong to a mahar caste oh my god and it spread it all around so none of them were ready to give a lift to the b r ambedkar this is what ambedkar suffered and he so such a discrimination and inequality towards him he was the first person from his caste who has completed his college education and went to england to become a lawyer he encouraged dalits to send their children to school and college he also urged dalits to take on different kinds of government job in order to move out of the caste system he led many efforts to dalit to gain entry into temples later in life he converted to buddhism in his search for a religion and is and then he was treated equally dr ambedkar believed that dalits must fight the caste system and work towards a society based on respect not just for a few but for all person in the next slide we'll see striving for equality dalits women's tribal peasants they all were really fighting for their equality 
Dalits were not allowed to enter the village. They were not allowed to enter the temple. Women were not allowed to give the vote, and so many other things. Same as with tribals and peasants. Also, they were against the Britishers. Also, Dalit demanded entry to temples. Women demanded right to education. This is what all constitution. All the people of India were considered equal. Equal rights, untouchability, as cursed and abolished by. Lo. Government gave jobs, and it government has asked jobs open to all, especially for this SC ST caste, right to equality for poor and marginal communities. No language, religion, or festival should become compulsory. Then India has become a secular. nation in the next slide we'll see something towards the equality the preamble to the indian constitution is statement of all the ideals that our country strives to achieve it involves a society free from any discrimination a society where all citizens are equal the term fraternity as used in a preamble to encourage people to embrace the spirit of a brotherhood the right to vote is also extended to all the citizens of india who are 18 years above without any discrimination this is what a constitution of india children this i'll be just reading out you just go through it in a chart paper or a four size color paper my dear students make this a beautiful preamble all right this is your prep for the chapter we the people of india having a solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign society socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizen justice social economics and political liberty of thought expression brief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constitution assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves the constitution thank you class now till stay home stay safe bye bye